Hello, I hope all is well. So today's video is loot from cremating 1,000 Urium shades. Now this requires 1,000 Urium remains and 1,000 redwood pyre logs, costing me around 9 million GP. Now this takes level 95 fire making to do. This is something I've wanted to do for a while, but I had to unfortunately spend the time at Wintertot to get to 95 fire making. Boy, that is a, that's a heck of a place to spend some time. I, I really don't intend to go back. I, I think I kind of want to just finish off 99 doing these Urium uh, remains. Now, my voice may sound a little bit funny today, and that is because about a week and a half ago, I actually had my tonsils removed, and that's a heck of a thing to have done at my age. I uh, definitely don't recommend it unless it's necessary, but in my case, it was. I will say on the plus side, though, this is probably the most RuneScape I've played in a week and a half period in the last four and a half years, so that was kind of a plus. I got to play a lot and uh, make a couple videos here. I got a couple more that will be coming out in the near future. But uh, yeah, I haven't really been able to talk or it's kind of hurt to talk up until now. So just go ahead and get in this narration done. So one important piece of the puzzle for doing these cremations is to have this coffin here. And now I have the coffin with the gold locks and that lets me hold, I believe up to 28 remains. So I would fill that up, and when I started, I was filling my inventory entirely with redwood pyre logs, but then I had to kind of juggle them on the ground a little bit. And I wasn't feeling the greatest, so I was just kind of feeling like being lazy, and I brought five uh, remains in my inventory. Now, each time you cremate one, you will get, I believe it's about a 75% chance of getting one of these gold keys, and otherwise you will get coins, about four, five, six thousand coins. So I kind of kept the coins in my inventory as I went and just kind of let them stack up. Now to get the full experience benefit of this, you'll need to have Mauritania Hard and Elite Diaries completed. The Hard Mauritania Diary gives you 50% more prayer experience and the Elite will give you 50% more fire making experience. Because of that, I got 750k fire making experience from the 1k remains and 181k prayer experience. Now, assuming you have Mauritania Elite Diary complete, you'll need to do about 5,700 Urium remains to go from 95 to 99 fire making. That's definitely gonna take you longer than it would at Winter Tot, but we'll see here when we get to the rewards. I think you will make significantly more money, uh, plus the potential for Elite Clue Scrolls, which is ultimately the reason I'm doing this. I'm actually now able to complete all Master Clue steps, so there's none that I would have to drop. So my main focus here was to get as many elite clue scrolls, which I would then turn into masters as possible. Uh, plus, you get the added benefit of not having to see the uh, conversations taking place in Wintertop, and that's always a plus. So here I am finished with the 1,000 keys, or 1,000 uh, remains, and that got me 781 keys. So about 78% of the time, I did get a key, and 22% of the time, I got coins, and I got just under one mil from 1,000 uh, remains. Okay, so now on to the fun part, and that is opening all these keys for the rewards. So these keys are individually colored to specific chests down here. So there's like red, crimson, purple, black, although the rewards vary very minutely, just about a potential couple hundred GP from the rarer keys to the less rare keys. Now the most important part is the one in 144 drop rate of the elite clue. So with 780 keys, in theory, I should expect about five and a half elite clues. I would be happy with five or more, and uh, I will be then going on to get the easy and medium clues from Impling Jars and the hard clues I will get from Skatizo. So some of the loot here is a little bit junky, thinking like Myth Plate Skirts, Myth Helms, like Addy Spears, uh, not too great. There's a lot of coins in Swamp Tar, which do add up over time, but really some pretty decent loots as well. A lot of Dragon Daggers, Dragon Mace, a lot of Rune Items, Rune Chain, Rune Legs, even Dragon Long Swords. That's a 60k Alk, pretty solid. There's the first Elite Clue of the video coming in. Go ahead and hand that off to Watson, come right back. And five chests later, get my second Elite Clue. So I'm going to go get the lesser clues and go ahead and knock out a couple Masters. All right, that is the first clue down. I really like the Fallow the Bard and the Sherlock clues the best as they tend to be the quickest. Uh, the ones I like the least are this one. I challenge you to find a worse elite clue setup than this one right here. The one where you have to go through the entire Legends Quest dungeon and bring all those nonsense items to get there. Absolutely terrible step, but 
that's okay if it's got something valuable in it i really don't care if it's an eight step clue that uh, takes me to the end of the dungeon here so here we are these are the last couple keys finishing up with some purples and uh there's some rune items some coin stack nicely adding up there and uh, after this we're going to go ahead and price check all the loots we'll finish all the clues and we will open up all of the master clues see how many of those i ended up all right so jumping into the first price check most of the items actually fit in that first screen and you can see about 6.8 mil a lot of that coming from things like the battle staves the coins the rune legs uh, it really all adds up and remember we spent a total of nine mil on these supplies got almost one mil cash just in acquiring the keys and now we're factoring in all of these drops so we've nearly recovered all of our money there's a few items left to check uh, there's amulets of the damned which are worth significantly less than they used to be but even uh, outside the clues we are already almost back to break even unfortunately see, we only did get four elite clues so we were under drop rate on that but uh, can't really complain still got four got them all completed there is another 2.6 mil coming in so we are in the green we did make a profit now if those amulets of the damned were back to the price they were when this came out uh, we'd be sitting real nice right now but they are not worth very much unfortunately all right now it is time for my favorite part let's open up those master clues all right the first one coming in and that is not very impressive for a master all right we got three more that's okay and again that's uh that's pretty rough it's okay though we got a mimic on this third one i think i've only had like two or three mimics in the entire time i've been doing clues i feel like i'm way below drop rate on that but it's all right let's go ahead and take out that fight so nothing special from the mimic oh uh, that's all right final clue and unfortunately we did not get anything of uh, value from the clues but that's just it you're not you're not gonna get something good every time you're going for that long shot at something extremely valuable and uh, eventually you know maybe will pay off I, I have had clue luck in the past and I'll go ahead and show that log real quick so in a total of 420 nice hard clues I have hit two elite pieces I've only got one on the collection log the other one I did have on video pre-collection log it was the melee helm but uh, in about 88 master clues i've yet to see anything super valuable but that's okay i'm sure it is coming soon all right so now going to add everything up so this is the coins when getting the keys this is all the loot from the keys plus the clue scrolls we profited after factoring in the cost of the supplies about 2.2 mil roughly maybe 300k per hour so this was not particularly great just mainly because of the clue loots didn't really pay off but i'm definitely going to do this again and uh, it was a good way to train fire making get some passive prayer xp and get those elites so that's it for this video thanks for watching i do hope you found it interesting and i'll see you next time